some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and uh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is brought to us by the channel called uh, Officer Axon. So head on over there and give him a like, comment, share, and subscribe and all that. But in the meantime, we find ourselves in Utah, where we find a softard who, well, just decides to play it really dumb and uh, call the police on the police while in the middle of a traffic stop for uh, a seatbelt issue. And, of course, she doesn't want to talk to any public servant whatsoever if they uh, have no probable cause and everything like that. Oh, boy. Yeah, that kind of uh, idiot right there. So let's get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Summit 562, we're pulling into the outpost. Puppy. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Is there a reason why you wouldn't stop back there? Uh, I was on an expressway where vehicles are going uh, what? What? Is there an emergency and how can I assist you? What the hell? Oh, come on now, you brainless nitwit. Usually these freeways have some form of breakdown lane that you could have at least pulled over in and uh, you would have been safe from the traffic. But no, that's not exactly how you think. In fact, we're about to find out how much of uh, your thinking was diluted by soft hard BS here in a few minutes. Including that uh, famous line, is there an emergency officer? You know, the kind of line that Sovtards use because they don't believe in traffic laws to begin with? I'm pulling you over because you weren't wearing your seatbelt. Excuse me? I'm pulling you over because you weren't wearing your seatbelt. Um, what do you mean you're calling? Um, is there an emergency? How can I assist you? I am a woman traveling in private property and I am a Highway is not private property. Uh, we the people own the highway. Yeah, we the people own the highway. What a lame ass argument. Do you realize what that actually means? You don't own it privately. It basically means it's open to the public. And in reality, the states own the damn highways. They're the ones that uh, maintain it and uh, build them. And well, yeah, they do use tax dollars, but that still means it's public. Not private, public. Summit 562, can you start me another? I'm out with a sovereign citizen. Okay, so I need your license and your registration and insurance, please. We're in Summit County. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Summit 562. Just okay. You're more than welcome to. 
Okay. So you're actually being stopped due to not wearing your seatbelt today. Oh, and, and it, it, that's funny. That's interesting. So I have it on camera. When I passed you, I first looked at you, and then I let you pass me again, and I had you on camera the whole time without your seatbelt. Yeah. That's interesting. And, Code and, 4. She's and trying to make contact with the sheriff. How is that a crime? It is illegal to operate a vehicle without your seatbelt on. Uh, um, where's the problem? Affirm. Yeah, uh, the probable cause was the fact that you're not wearing your seatbelt in accordance to uh, uh, Utah statutes right here. And uh, the sanctions for that is roughly about $45, according to the uh, other statutes that are related to this. And if you so desire to fight it, you might as well go ahead and do it in court other than out here on the streets. But of course, you're a soft hard, so you're going to uh, do this out here because, well, uh, reasons. Okay. Go right ahead and call 911. Scary stuff that you guys are doing. You passed me on the expressway and then you go super slow and go behind me. You're the one that's creating an emergency here. This isn't an emergency, you're just violating the law. Hi, I need a sheriff. I'm being illegally detained unlawfully. I'm at exit uh, I-80. Um, I'm being illegally detained. What is your badge number? 562. I, I need a sheriff to come and arrest this man for illegally detaining me. Um, badge number what? 562. Badge number 562. And what is your name? Trooper Hunt. Trooper Hunt is illegally detaining me. I I would like the sheriff out here. Is uh, are you the sheriff? Okay. What is your name? Chad. Chad. What? Gun. 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 G U N. G U N N. Okay. Chad Gun is here. And um, what is your badge number? My badge number is one K thirty six. illegally detained and there's no probable cause there's no injured person and there's no um so do you have a driver's license in the state of utah miss I have a, um, passport that I do you have a driver's license um I, I don't answer questions by public servants that's not my job it's not to answer questions unless there's probable cause Are, is there probable okay. cause interesting Wait, you're not going to answer the question of any uh, public servant at all unless there's probable cause? But what if you go into a government building and uh, request services from them? Are you just going to say, I don't answer questions? Or are you going to answer the questions because you need their services? Uh, yeah, kind of an interesting conundrum right there, isn't it? There's probable cause that you committed a crime by not wearing your seatbelt while you're operating a motor vehicle. Okay. Um, do you have insurance for your vehicle, miss? I mean, it, do you own this vehicle? No. Who owns this vehicle? You know what? I don't answer questions from you. You are a public servant. There is no probable cause. There is no injured party. There's no okay. There's no reason. I need a documentation. I just served Frank Smith for the same behavior. Did you? Yes. That's I wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, you served another police officer for this exact same thing? Uh, yeah, I'm betting that's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, the police officer is merely doing his job and uh, trying to ensure that everybody on the road is safe. But unfortunately, you got dumbasses like you who will think that you actually own the roads and you shouldn't be wary of traffic laws and speed laws and everything like that. I wonder how many sobtards have contributed to the deaths of people on the roadways because you're, uh, well, blatant stupidity. Yes, and so I would like him out here to let you know how this works. Okay. 
I'll be right back with you, okay? No. I she showed me your passport real quick. Go for it. Copy, can you respond on the 911 hand? So she accidentally said her name. Oh, I, yeah, she showed Yeah, I got okay. her pass. She showed me her passport for like half a second. I was able to get a picture okay. of it and she has a valid license. I start. I initiated the stop at 154, and she kept rolling. and didn't even like hesitate to stop, and then pulled in here. And I was like, oh, I'll just tell her, oh, I'm not going to sit here and engage in this sovereign citizen banter. That's yeah. a no win. Nope, not worth it. I should probably pull a case number though and re record it because she had a folder of. Apparently, she's suing the sheriff as well. Yeah. One eight twenty. Might let Syac now. I'm sure they probably know, but I'll definitely send it over to them as well. What'd you stop her for? Seatbelt. Well, I guess we don't have to extract her. We can give her a ticket and send her on her merry way. Nice and easy. So this soft tart actually has uh, valid plates, valid license, valid everything, except for insurance, of course. And yet still acts like a damn sovereign citizen. So which makes me wonder if she's uh, actually an entitled Karen or uh, a half-wit soft art or maybe a combination of all of it. I mean, uh, yeah, that might be it. A combination of half-wit soft art and, uh, well, dumbass Karen. A little longer than a few minutes later. I can't hear you. I need you to roll the window down so I can communicate with you. I cannot hear you. I need you to roll the window down so I can communicate with you. I have no idea what you're saying. What were you saying? You can properly serve if there is a crime. The crime is that you were not wearing your seatbelt. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so you're being cited for not wearing your seatbelt as well as not having proof of insurance. You're required to call the Summit County Justice Court between 5 and 14 days. Phone number's highlighted on the left. When you call them, they'll ask for that citation number. Go over all your options on how to take care of that. So that will be your citation. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay? I don't know. I probably would have still had her towed because of lack of insurance, but that's just me. I don't uh, as far as this officer goes, I think he was being merciful on her at this point. But whether or not she pays this uh, ticket or anything like that is highly doubtful. At least I think it'll be highly doubtful. And in fact, I do believe this will end up uh, well cycling through the courts and everything like that. And she'll still have no insurance and act like a complete soft hard Karen in the end. But hey, there's always the hope that she'll go uh, full-blown soft art when she realizes she can get away with it and then really screw her life over. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?